Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Kind of, kind of continuing with a theme I've done uh, sporadically throughout the past year uh, because people always want to know, Mark, what's your favorite hummingbird feeder? You know, I've done my favorite hopper feeder, I've done my favorite uh, finch feeder, and it, since the hummingbird sightings, we had, I know, at least three different people this morning who said, I had a hummingbird this morning, had a hummingbird this morning. So the hummingbirds are starting to roll in. The winds are shifting out to the south, and so we're starting to see those. So uh, if you've been in here and talked to me and I've sold you a hummingbird feeder, you know what my favorite types are. But for those of you who haven't, um, Mark's favorite hummingbird feeder. All right. No secret that I prefer what we call the saucer types of hummingbird feeders. Uh, we have bottle types and saucer types. I much prefer the saucer types. Why? Okay. Several different reasons. But whenever, this is hang this here, so for comparison, in a bottle type of hummingbird feeder, all the nectar is in here and it's pulled down here to these, these ports, right here. And the nectar is always right there at those ports. Well, the hummingbird, who has that very long tongue that can reach really far, doesn't need that nectar to be right there at the tip of the flower, but bees do. So one of my favorite things about a saucer type feeder is that the nectar, you can fill it only about a quarter full or even half full, and the port keeps the, hum the, the hummingbird distance is fine because his tongue is so long, but a bee can't reach its proboscis down there, which is great. So that's one, anti-B or you know, the, the, I really like the saucer types over these. Uh, volume, in our area, now you may live in a completely different area where you have tons of hummingbirds, but we don't. And uh, up here in the Kansas City area, uh, this is far more nectar than you're gonna use in an average two day period in which you, know, you should change that hummingbird nectar every, every two days or so. So if I had this hummingbird feeder hanging at my house, I probably would only put that much nectar in it. Whereas the saucer types don't hold as much, so I'm not throwing as much away. So right away, that you know, it, economically, it's a, a more uh, economical thing to do. So <clears throat> the other part of saucer types that is so appealing to me is they are super easy to clean. Top shelf dishwasher safe, the aspects are, but even, even that, you don't even need it. You've got, they're very easy to clean out. You can just run a little, uh, even this company, the, the aspects even includes a little uh, bottle brush clean where you can just rub it down in there to make sure that, because that's the only place that's gonna be only even that. half, what's only, that? Only that one. Right, model. but they're easy to clean and they are absolutely loved by hummingbirds. Uh, the North American Hummingbird Society and the research station in Portal, uh, Arizona had re released an article a few years ago saying that hummingbirds prefer to feed at a 45 degree angle, close to 45 degree angle. So the slope of these feeders is just right and they, they preferred them. They called these humzingers the best hummingbird feeders in the world. Some feeders have a flat port to, f to, to fill in and they will feed that way. And they also, but they, they do like a little bit of an angle. So another reason I think they're, they're very, very well built. Um, these feeders are made in the USA. These feeders are lifetime warranty that if they ever leak, they, you know, we can replace the bowls, we can replace the, that, that is absolutely a, a good thing. Now, purchase. A question that I get asked a lot. These, these hummingbird feeders do have purchase. And the question is always, well, uh, you know, I, that feeder over there doesn't have a perch on it. Well, my answer to that has always been, do you ever see perches on flowers in the wild? Mother Nature doesn't provide perches for hummingbirds when they're feeding on tubular flowers that they like in the wild. Um, the, the perches on a hummingbird feeder are for your convenience more for, than for them. Now, the, you know, a male will use those perches to guard that hummingbird feeder. You know, I've done other videos about their mating system, how one male will dominate a feeder and, and chase the females away and, and court with them and, and breed with them. Where that, a perch on a hummingbird feeder, yes, he can sit there and rest and you get to see him, but he really doesn't need that. Uh, so if a hummingbird feeder doesn't have a perch on it, don't worry about that. If you like the other ones, and that's the other part of this. <clears throat> These are my favorite hummingbird feeders. One of the, my favorite uh, arguments I heard in the store one day was between a mother and a daughter about hummingbird feeders. One liked the bottle type and the one liked the, the saucer type. 
and one lived out east of Kansas City, one lived here in, in the Kansas City area, and they were going back and forth about, well, I've tried those kind of hummingbird feeders in my yard, and the hummingbirds won't use them. And the mother was like, well, I've tried that kind of hummingbird feeder, and the hummingbirds won't use them. I can't explain that. Um, I do know that birds are creatures of habit, and they do like what they like. So if they if a hummingbird has been used to coming to a saucer type feeder and you switch it to a bottle type, sometimes you have trouble with that. Now, I've had both in my yard. I've had bottle feeders out and saucer feeders at the same time, and they feed from both of them. But, you know, hummingbirds feed from all different color flowers, all different uh, uh, types of flowers, but they do like the red tubular flowers the best. Um, and, of course, people ask, oh, does the nectar need to be red? No, I've never seen a hummingbird fly up to a feeder and put his eye to the hole to look inside to see what color the nectar is. They have no idea. As long as the feeder is red or the, perch, uh, the port is red, they'll feed from a blue flower and other flowers as well. But one of the reasons why hummingbirds, is, that, that, that scientists say that hummingbirds like red colors and orange colors is because bees tend to stay away from those flowers. They, they tend not to nectar on those flowers. And though the hum, so the hummingbirds have those more to themselves than, than other flowers that the bees have already gotten a lot of the pollen out of. So my favorite hummingbird feeders are the saucer types and especially the aspects. I, you know, I, I'm partial to that company because of their lifetime warranty and they're made in the USA. So um, you may have a different hummingbird feeder you like. Feel free to comment down below and, and uh, let us know what you like the best. Uh, let us know when you see your first hummingbirds. Like I said, they're on the way. The southern wind's coming, so they're going to be really coming in this week. So great idea for a program. Thanks for the idea. Uh, give us a like. Give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. That helps us out. Until then, come by. Let's talk birds.